Now that I've logged into PBCS, let's look at some basic navigation. I'm going to start with the Tasks button here. Tasks takes us into our task lists. As we'll see later, task lists are ways of navigating your users through the particular processes that they need to run. We have a number of them shown here, and along with these task lists, we have sets of instructions and potential actions. In this case, I'm going to use this task list here called Training Task List 01. I can expand it to see the individual items underneath it. In this case, we have two data forms. And I know that because of the icon here, which is a grid. If I were to look at another task list, for example, driver-based planning, and expand this down, you'll see that here we have a different icon which represents a business rule or calculation. So from this task list, I can access these two data forms. And you'll notice that I have a set of instructions for this data form, which is very helpful to your users so that if they need any guidance with the way they should use the form, you can insert it here. Currently, we're looking at task lists in tree view. As I can see here, this icon here is highlighted in blue. That means that I can expand these items as a hierarchy. I can filter here by using the filter button, and I can filter the task list by those that have been complete, those that are incomplete, or those that are overdue. Later in the course, we'll be looking at how to create task lists and setting due dates. The other way of looking at task lists is through flat view. This gives us a filtered view according to these info tiles here with all, those that are incomplete, those that are due today, and so on. In addition, I can filter using this drop down picking any of the individual task lists to just filter on the items in that task list. If I now want to open one of these data forms, such as this one here, Enter Fixed Overheads, I can just click on the link and that will take me into the data form. I'm going to close that for a moment and show an alternative method of reaching our data forms. On the home screen, we saw these cards here. And one of those is data. And in this case, data means looking at our data forms. The data forms are held in a folder structure, as you see here. And then the task lists can be linked to any of these individual data forms. For instance, if I go down into the training forms folder here and expand it, and scroll down a little further, here we will see a number of data forms that are contained within this training forms folder. So again, I can come here and click on the link for that form to be taken into the form once again. So there are actually two ways of being able to navigate, one using task lists and one using individual data forms. From a user's perspective, task lists are much more useful, and we'll be focusing on that later in the course. So that's how we can access both our task lists and our data forms. And shortly, we'll be looking at using one of those data forms for entering data and setting point of view.